Madame Gao Fu was my Chen Tai Chi teacher. She was a student of the notorious Feng Zikiang, and she was also an official national living treasure of China. When the great Maoist cleansing of the masters of China was underway, her husband, who was a Tai Chi master, was sent to prison and tortured to death. She was sent to prison just for being his wife, and she was also tortured, due to which she had eternal back pain. She said when she was in prison she had nothing else to do, so she started practicing Tai Chi a lot. After some years, she was let out of prison and provided with an apartment. But even up to modern times, she was given no address and allowed no telephone. This was so that no one was able to contact her and be her student except for the party. Some time after getting out of prison, she was officially declared to be a national living treasure of China. However, since she had no means for people to contact her, the only students that she got were high-level party officials, and they weren't actually interested in Tai Chi. They just wanted to be able to put her name on their resume. Faced with this, she was actually very happy to be able to come to Seattle and teach students who really wanted to learn. I really loved Chen Tai Chi. I loved the smooth circular flowing, the changes between large and small circles, the slow and fast, the way the form itself evolves like a spiral. And Madame Gao Fu herself was a real treat. She was the sweetest little old grandma type you can imagine, so nice and calm. I think she was in her upper 80s when I was her student. But despite her age, she had a wicked short-range explosive punch that was cause most little old ladies to shatter themselves into little pieces. Gao Fu told her last class, which I was in, that her master had written a book about their Tai Chi, but she had never read it because she was with him in person. After moving to Seattle, she read the book. She told us she had been teaching it all wrong, and this time she was going to do it right. Can you imagine? She was a national living treasure of China, and she was apologizing for having done it wrong. I don't know how she changed her teaching, but it was fabulous. And you just cannot beat the way of moving for the pure joy it gives. If she did change her teaching much, then her previous students missed that. But from what I've seen, some of her previous students do the form absolutely excellently. Each week we would learn a new movement, then go home and practice it. The next week we would review the move a few times and she would go around the room to give feedback to each person. The whole class had to do the move and then stand in the strenuous low posture for 10 or 15 minutes as she went around to each person. She would stand three feet in front of them and have them do the movement while she stared at them like a predator. She would then correct even the tiniest mistake the person had made. She always had some correction or advice for each student, but I'm proud to say there were a couple of times when she watched me and just nodded her head before going on to the next person and she didn't do that to any of the others. We all had to stand in a typically low posture while she was going around the room. It was very painful in the beginning, but truly amazing how fast it made your legs stronger. Just the thing for mountain climbing.